The Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack. It's been out for a couple days now, and I just got my order of the controllers that are specifically made for the Switch Online service. Hopefully we could use this stuff for other devices, which typically we've been able to with the other controllers they put out, like the Super Nintendo and NES ones, but today I really wanted to focus on this Nintendo 64 controller. I did get the Genesis one as well, but I think this one is of more interest to people. We will look at this one in another video in a short while, but I want to focus here. So both of these are $50. How does that make sense? This controller $50, this controller $50, whatever. Uh, it, it is what it is. I want to see about the, the like stick. Is it the same as the old one? Can we tear this down? I'm gonna try to tear it down if we can, but here it is. Pretty hefty box, very nice looking. Uh, they should be continually restocking these. If I were you and I really wanted one, and I didn't get one. I mean, uh, the scalping action, uh, the reselling action, whatever you wanna call it. Man, people are going nuts selling these for like 120, $150, that kind of thing. But here we are. Comes with a Nintendo branded USB-C charge cable. And nice presentation on everything in the box here. Get this set aside. And here it is. I was immediately like looking at the back here. I was like, how did they do this? Like, did they just flatten this or, or what? But it has a, a non-existent non memory pack in there. You know, maybe we'll have to pay to unlock that feature later. And this definitely has more weight to it than the original controller. How do we open this up? What kind of uh, screws are we using here? Tri-wing, yes. I have a tri-wing sitting around here somewhere. So we will open this up. Let me see this. Uh, that feels identical to the original. I mean, it might have like a little bit more spring action maybe not identical come on now what am i saying let me let me find one uh, an original that i have that has a good stick okay i, I, have, I have a couple here because i have a a buttload of nintendo 64 controllers so i was trying to find one that didn't have like a uh, a replaced stick and yeah this it feels very similar uh this is like one of the kitsch bent i believe is what it was called replacements where it's still the same housing but just the parts were different and this uh i do have it lubed up so it feels a little different it'd be cool if like this could be put into that if need be but okay let's go ahead and take a look so we got the z button we got the analog we got the d-pad a and b everything feels really good here up top we have our zr home button uh sync button capture button and then our charge port this i i like it I know some people don't like this trident shape. It's what I had when the Nintendo 64 came out. I am not like the biggest fan in the world, but I do like the controller as that's what I grew up using. Let's go ahead and uh, readjust the camera angle and open this thing up. Okay, here we go. Change the angle. Let's go ahead and open this thing up before we test it out, which could wind up being a bad thing if I screw something up here, but I think we will be okay. So let's get this going. Fast forward action most likely to get through the unscrewing because there is three, six, seven screws on the outside. All right, moment of truth. Oi, where was the rumble motor? The rumble's right here. Where was it positioned? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fool. It, it just goes right here. I don't know why I didn't notice that compartment when I first opened it, but yeah, when I opened it, it had to have been like stuck on this side and pulled out and then just fell over. But yeah, it's supposed to be up here. Uh, doesn't make sense to have this pin on the bottom. Like it looks like it gets in the way or it doesn't fit properly, uh, especially with this wire right there. So looks like pin up and then you can put it back together. So. There you go, quick, quick little edit. Okay. Disconnect that for now. There's the, uh, the pads for the top buttons. I really wanna see this is, is what I wanna see. Go ahead and get that off of there for the Z button. 
Yeah, it's like that that part's glued on there. We don't we really don't want to pull that out yet because this whole cover goes over that. So we're going to remove that cover first. Cuz otherwise we risk breaking it. Now that I'm really actually paying attention to what I'm doing, all right, let's let's get that out. Actually, I should pull that out. I need some tweezers so I'm not ripping anything. Well, I was not prepared. I can't find my good tweezers, so this will have to do. The analog stick. We'll disassemble this in a second. That's what I mostly wanted to see was the inside of this. The rest of this just kind of... bonus, I guess. Ah. Undo that ribbon. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of little cords and stuff. Here's the battery compartment right there. As you can see the battery up there. Like everything's that, that I, I'm not going to take this all apart. You could see the inside. It's the flat, like it's a sticker with the traces and the buttons, uh, everything there. Um, yeah, there's really not a huge point to take everything else apart. It's mostly that that I wanted to see. But just to give you an idea, there's the membranes. They're typically good membranes that Nintendo uses, not like third parties out there who sometimes have some really wonky ones. But yeah, there's that part. Now for the, the interesting thing, what I care about. I wanna see what the inside of this looks like. So we should have one screw right there. See if it's the same mechanism. I mean, it's, it's housed pretty much the same, it looks like. <laughs> what do we have going on here? Oh, that spring tension. lubed up bowl it's it's like it's been a while since i've opened one of these but it looks like it's a very similar mechanism but did they make it to where it won't grind that's the that's the question yeah if you've never opened one of these before i i would probably shy away from doing so. Okay, get that other screw in there. I'm gonna get this reassembled, try to figure out, I'll put a comparison. I know I have to have an image of when I opened one of these, the originals before. And uh, if I can't find mine, I'll find a, an image of it somewhere uh, to show you guys. So that'll have been displayed to kind of compare the two. Um, but there's that, that's, that's back together for the most part. If you made it this far in the video, I really do appreciate it. Thanks a ton for hanging with me on this one. I know we spent most of the time here today uh, unboxing the controller, tearing it down, taking a look at the mechanism of the thumbstick uh, a bit and kind of comparing things and whatnot. And I do want to leave this video with my final impressions of the actual controller as I have been testing it quite a bit after I recorded all this footage. And I haven't had any problems with it on the Switch. I do want to try using it on some other consoles and whatnot in the very near future and report back on that. But, you know, over the years, there's been plenty of companies who have put out Nintendo 64 clone controllers, uh, newer stuff from companies like Retrobit and Retro Fighters. And while I think some of that stuff is all right, I, I just have a soft spot in my heart for the original Nintendo 64 controller. I know plenty of people say they hate it, but for me, it's just like, it feels natural. Uh, the controller works, and it was designed specifically for Nintendo 64 games back in the day. And I think Nintendo, with the Switch Online service, these fools, man, they know what they're doing, partly. Because, yeah, we still have some of those em emulation issues going on. But they know what they're doing when it comes to, like, hey, uh, people are going to want to play these games and pay for it. And they're going to realize that 
using a pro controller or any other controller is going to be a little awkward if you're accustomed to these games. So they're going to continue selling these Nintendo 64 controllers because honestly, it's the best way to play the Nintendo 64 games on the system because the buttons are mapped exactly the way they're supposed to be. And with the unique design of that controller for Nintendo 64, it's kind of hard to mimic that and get the same feel with another system's controller, like the Pro Controller. It's not designed for Nintendo 64, and it just kind of seems a little awkward at times. Uh, you can get around it. I mean, you can get accustomed to using the Pro Controller. It's fine, but I just, when I play a game for a specific console, I like using the original controller. And I, I think Nintendo, now maybe they didn't hit it out the park with this expansion pack on the online service, but I do feel they, they knocked it out of the park with this controller. I do have some worries uh, in the end, like, is the thumbstick going to have limp stick syndrome over time with that bowl? I mean, when you look at it, and I've kind of closely went back and looked at things, there are a few differences between the original Nintendo 64 controller and this new Bluetooth version uh, as far as the mechanism goes. But they're very similar, so I, I, I hope... And the way it does look is that it has been changed up enough to where it may not be a problem, but only time will tell. And are we going to be able to replace parts for the thumbstick? It's kind of a pain in the butt doing that for an original Nintendo 64 controller, but it's almost a must if you want to stick with your originals. And I just hope this doesn't turn into that whole thing again where we're having the bowl getting grinded because of the thumbstick touching it. But when I really looked at it, it doesn't really look like it's grinding it uh, in the sense of how the originals did. So I I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Initial appearances does look like a better quality mechanism versus the original. And I I'm really happy with it. I mean, these are $50 controllers. I still don't understand why the Genesis ones are that much. I mean, they got to pay Sega, I suppose. But holy crap. Like, that's just kind of crazy. We'll, we'll take a look at that one uh, maybe in the next video. The Sega Genesis one. It's just I was really excited to get these ones in my hands. I'm going to be testing the Nintendo 64 controllers on other systems in the very near future, reporting back on all that stuff. I'm happy I purchased these. Um, keep an eye out if you didn't get one, as they will continually put them back up. I mean, they put them up initially, and then they did another restock. Just keep an eye. I'll put a link in the description. You can bookmark that page if you if you like. So really do appreciate every single one of you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.